examination of patients with spinal cord injury to, um, according to age scale consists of two parts, motor exam and sensory exam. For the sensory exam, we need to do two things. We will assess light touch. So basically, we will be touching the patient with a piece of cotton or uh, something soft. And thin prick. So for this one, we will be using something with a sharp end. I will first demonstrate the uh, standard way to do the test. So basically, for any sensory exam, uh, we will have the area of the skin to be tested there so that we can uh, touch it directly. We don't do the test around our overflow and we demonstrate the test to the patient with their eyes open so uh dania i will be touching you let's say for example with this piece of cotton so it will be like this and i want you to tell me when you feel the touch for demonstration purposes we always need to make sure that we demonstrate on a body part that we know has normal sensation uh, for patients with spinal cord injury, we could have an idea about the level of the injury or regardless, if it's our first exam, we are not sure for some reason, we don't have any neurological data to tell us about where the level is, the most guaranteed part would be the face, of course, because it's supplied by cranial nerves. So I will touch your forehead with this uh, piece of cotton, like this, and you see the sen sensation you're getting? I want you to compare it to the sensation here. Is it the same? Okay. So that's how we will do the test. And for the test, I will have you close your eyes, please. Okay? So for example, now your eyes closed. Did you feel the touch? Yes. Does this here feel the same as this here? Yes. Okay. If they say, thank you. Um, if the patient says that they feel it the same way, then uh, we will give the area we tested grade two. If they say that the sensation at the tested area is less than normal, then we give it grade one. If they cannot feel that we are touching them, this will be grade zero. This is for the light touch. For the thin prick, it's basically going to be the same, but now we're using something with a sharp end. Whenever we do this test, I always make sure that I hold the pen so close to the uh, tip of my finger so that when I'm doing the touch, there is no risk that I am uh, deeply um, pressing it against the patient's skin and causing them any harm. So my finger will stop the touch, okay? And basically it's going to be the same. So I will touch you with this sharp end of the pen, and I want you to tell me whether you feel something sharp. So it's going to be like this. And also the other thing, I avoid touching any part of the patient. Like I wouldn't do like this. No, I only touch with the pen. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Did you feel it? Okay, and then I do with the other end of the pen. Did you feel this one? Okay, is it sharp or dull, the last one I touched? Dull. Dull, okay. So this way we know that they can differentiate and also we compare it with a normal body part. If they could tell uh, the difference between sharp and dull and the sensation is the same as the face, this will be grade two. If there is difference between the two sensations, or if they cannot tell the uh, sharp or dull, this will be grade one. If they cannot feel anything, this will be grade zero. So these are the basics of the test. And as always, remember, we do it with the patient's eyes closed.